Hello everybody, I'm Chef Eric. Welcome back to another round of Kara Cooking Demo. Today I'm going to show you a recipe of beef rendang, which is a beef simmered in a rich coconut cream gravy. This is made with uh, a fresh spice paste, some of the extra ingredients like herbs like uh, half lime leaves, chilli paste, coriander and cumin powders. Of course, the main ingredient for today's recipe will be our coconut cream from Kara, which is all rich and natural. Allow me to introduce you a very interesting spice paste which is used for many Singapore and Malaysian dishes. L dishes like laksa, rendang, curry chicken, we all start from a spice paste which is made fresh and as well as some dried spices. For today's spice paste ingredients, I would like to introduce to you, we have shallots, garlic, lemongrass, galangal which is also known as blue ginger or lengkuas in the local language, and this is candle nuts, or otherwise known as buah karas. We also have got some ginger, and these two pieces here, this is fermented shrimp paste, otherwise known as balachan in local language. We will also add some dried turmeric powder to give the, spa the spice paste a nicer colour and more flavour. For the spice paste or rempa preparation, we will grind all the spices together in a food processor until we get a smooth paste. Traditionally, most cooks at home would actually prepare the paste by pounding all the spices together with mortar and pestle. To begin with, we always put the ingredients with the higher highest amount of moisture into the machine first, so that it's able to blend better. So we add our shallots, followed by some of the garlic. Get the machine running first. When this is partially blended, we add our lemongrass, galangal, blue ginger, some fresh ginger, and candle nuts, shrimp paste, okay, break it up a little bit. Process until you get a Okay, we process until you get a paste texture. When the spice paste is nicely blended up, you can transfer this into a storage container. Keep it chilled for up to two weeks or frozen for up to six months. As the rumpa matures, the colour will be a little bit more intense. Subsequently, over the next few days, you might see the, color, the tone of the spice paste changing to a more mellow yellow colour. For this um, recipe that we're doing today, this is our spice paste or rumpa as we call it. We have made it earlier. Follow on. We will cook it up with some of the dried spices. This is coriander powder, cumin, chilli paste, and kaffir lime leaves. We also have kichap manis, which is a sweet soya sauce. And this is our beef that we will use today. For a nice rendang, always use beef shin or knuckle, where you get more tendons, more gelatin, and keeps the meat moist during the simmering process. We start off by heating up some oil and it's good to use a little bit more oil to fry up the spice paste. This gives the rendang more flavours, more aroma and the excess oil can be removed and skim off when cooking is done. Add our spice paste in. This is the rempa that we made earlier. It's always good to cook the rempa in moderate heat. Rempa contains a lot of shallots which are naturally very high in sugars. So if your heat is very high, what happens to the rumpa? It gets burnt and the whole dish becomes bitter. When it starts to get all nice and aromatic, this is where we put our chilli paste in. If you like it more spicy, you can always add more chilli paste. If not, you can reduce it if you do not prefer your rendang to be so spicy. Cook the chilli paste together with the spices until it's completely integrated and the oil turns to a bright orange-red yellow. Keep stirring the spice paste 
to prevent it from burning. And the next ingredients that we're going to add in are dry spices. We have got coriander here, which is very nice and sweet smelling. We will also put in some cumin. Cook up the entire spice paste until it's nice and fragrant. Just before the beef goes in, we will put in our kaffir lime leaves. These are wonderfully fragrant and it gives a nice aroma to the whole dish. The next thing that we put in is our meat. We do not have to season the meat in advance because we, have, we want to allow the meat to cook and absorb the flavours of the gravy and the, and the spices as well. So put the beef in. Lastly, we pour in our coconut cream. A nice rendang is always full of co coconut aroma and being very rich in flavour, this coconut cream is very nice to go with in the rendang recipe. As this is going to be a bracing process that takes about two hours, we will put in some water so that the beef can simmer slowly until tender. Last but not least, a little bit of ketchup manis. So we bring the entire mixture up to ball, slow simmer it for about two hours, stirring it occasionally until the meat becomes tender and the gravy is reduced to a semi-dried curry. Flavoured rice is very much a part of Southeast Asian cuisine and today we're going to serve yellow rice or nasi kunit as it's known with our beef rendang. For this uh, rice, which is eaten con commonly during festive season, it goes very well with a curry dish, a stew dish or a braised dish. So to make our nasi kunit, the ingredients that we have today, this is rice that has been washed, coconut cream, sp uh, spices, uh, this is turmeric spice, we have some salt for seasoning, water and a pandan leaf. To begin with, we put our rice in, Four tablespoons of coconut cream. Our turmeric powder, small amount of it. Some salt. Water. We can cook this rice in a traditional rice cooker or you can choose to put the rice in a pot and bake it off in the oven. When the water boils up and the rice is fragrant, we can transfer this to the oven. Just before we put it in, let's add a piece of pandan leaf. Cover the pot okay, with a fall and we'll transfer this to the preheated oven and bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. When the oven is ready, we put the rice in, we bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. When the rice is ready, take it out from the oven. Allow it to rest for 15 to 20 minutes before you serve. Here comes our rice. Remove the fall, remove the pandan leaf that's inside the rice, fluff up the rice before you serve. For a nicer presentation and more fragrance, have a piece of banana leaf at the base of your plate, scoop the rice and serve it with the banana leaf as the base. Garnish the rice with some fried shallots. To serve our rendang, okay, we place a piece of the beef, the base. You can smell the aroma of the coconut cream. You think the, the dish very nice, wonderful flavors. You slice some green chilies, sprinkle onto the rendang it's, as a garnish. Have a little bit of toasted desiccated coconut. some coriander leaves. After we have garnished our rendang, serve our rendang with a nice yellow turmeric rice. 